It was like eggs and some crumbles that were like imitating bacon, but they weren't the bacon that I know and love. It was something else. <laughs> Something Italian. It's like an Italian version and of bacon. Right? bacon. I'm going to call it this like the, the false profit of bacon, okay? <laughs> it was like $70, man. Oh, man. And I was like, why is this happening? What's up, guys? I'm Zap. This is Jericho. We are a six-time international award-winning pop, hip-hop music group, uh, Banded Future. I uh, almost forgot our name, but now hey. I remember. <laughs> Future. We do clean, fun music that everyone can listen to with the sound that's uniquely California. And you are now, right now, you are tuned in to the Life's of Circus podcast where we talk about everything that's funny, everything that's interesting, and everything that is ridiculous. So, yo, help us out. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, and make sure you share this video. <sighs> share this video. Oh, boy. Here we go. With someone here we go who has expensive taste. Oh man, hitting close to home. Hitting close to home, man. We getting real personal right now. Personal. Um because I had a I had a date with Tell him why you're mad, son. Tell him why you're mad, son. I had, a, I had a date with a girl that I was talking to, and by the end of that date, I could tell that. I could not afford this woman. <laughs> like, I couldn't afford her, man. And it's just like, it's it's no secret um, that women tend to spend more money than men. And um, if you're a guy, I mean, it, it's just, there's just so many layers to this. I mean, I can only talk about a few. Mm -hmm. But if you're like a guy and mm -hmm. like, it's just so much easier for us to live on like nothing <laughs> and, yeah. and and be fine and be content and just be like, okay, but uh, you know, it's just it's just so much more for women. And um, so this girl, I took her on a date and I was like, you know, you know, I want you to be happy, I want you to be comfortable. Let's go to a place that you like. Mm. And she took she suggested this place I've never been before. And um I walked in and I was like, oh, this is fancy. And she was like, oh, no, this is nothing. Like, <laughs> meanwhile, it was the, the tab at the end of the night was over three figures. And like, literally, what I had to eat was basically a bowl of rice. Mm -hmm. And I paid like $30 <laughs> for like a bowl of rice. And I'm just like, it, it was just such a like, Fru fru kind of place where like they give you like a lemon wedge and yeah. like a piece of this the and it's portions. like fifty dollars, please. And you're like, wait, <laughs> like you leave the restaurant and you're still hungry. Yes, but it's like it's the like bougie whatever. Like it's just the name, man. The more the brand gets, yeah, you know. And she's like, oh, I love it here. Don't you love the ambiance? And, uh, and she's just pointing out things that I don't even recognize. And mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, some people call it like a Hollywood mentality. Like I tell people, like, even, as, even though I work in, there's a difference between working in Hollywood and being Hollywood. Yes. Or like mm -hmm. living in Hollywood. And it's just like, it's two different things. I don't think, I, I don't, like, even if I become very rich, like I feel like I'm still gonna go to Applebee's and yeah. like get that, that special was, man. <laughs> that's like, good stuff though. It really is. I'm just a middle of the road kind of guy. It's just I don't think that'll ever change. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, man, wanted wanted to get your thoughts. Nah, um, dude. Uh, it's like because... so many memories are coming back. <laughs> I don't like any of them. I don't like any of them. But I'll tell you what, because I I I. I do have an appreciation for what I call like fine dining. I've had some stuff that's like, that's pretty great. And it was mm. up there in price. Uh, in general, it's not what I would do on a consistent basis, even if I had the money to do so. Cause it's like, why? Um, plus I don't want, I never want that to be normal. I heard that this yeah. guy, Dan Bilzerian talk about, he's a millionaire, but all, you know, all over whatever. 
uh, women and looks great on Instagram. And he was, he was basically explaining like he has a personal chef, like a Michelin star chef that prepares every meal for him. And so that is boring because it's not enough anymore. That's all he has. And look, yeah. you, 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 you have to come back down to earth a little bit. I think it's like, man, let's talk about one word, bacon. All right. Just take <laughs> bacon. Let's just say, and then stop and eat it. There's few things that are going to be better than that, no matter how much caviar or truffle you put on it, man. I don't <laughs> care. I really don't care. A bacon wrap hot dog can beat most of these things as far as like taste uh, and then value for you know, hey, want to eat that? I'm going to get two, and yeah. then you're good. But uh, the women that like the high class, I, I get it. It does make you feel a little special. And once in a while, I'm not mad at it. But mm. I went out with a girl. And I, I suggest that we go to Denny's. Oh. It's not the best place. It's not terrible. I've had some nice meals there. And the way that she rejected straight up, like it wasn't oh. an option to her. Like it was like it was me being disrespectful for bringing it up. I'm like, come on, really? Oh. We went someplace in Beverly Hills for lunch and we got two things to do. And <laughs> it was like, Eggs and some crumbles that were like imitating bacon, but they weren't the bacon that I know and love. It was something else. Was <laughs> something Italian. It was like an Italian version and of bacon. Right? bacon. I'm going to call it this like the, the false profit of bacon, okay? <laughs> it was like $70, man. Oh, man. And I was like, why is this happening, right? So <laughs> I, I don't know, but like to date someone, if that's what they want, then... I'm just not the dude for you because like I said, yeah. even if I had the money for it, I'm going to Applebee's. I'm going to, yeah. you know, this is the local spots that have a good, whatever. And uh, Harold's hot chicken, whatever. And, and, and let those special moments be special. Cause you want, is it because I don't, I don't know if it's so much so because they feel like they deserve it. Is it because they've seen it so much on TV, that, like Real Housewives of wherever, that they think that's normal? Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure what the, the motive behind it is, but it is a lot more prevalent than it used to be. And of, of course, being in like, sure. Southern California, everything has to be upscale and whatever. I'm like, dude, you got to love a good burger and if you want to roll with me. Yeah. It's a, and a large amount of women going after a small amount of of like high net worth men mm -hmm. um and, and it's just like everybody's going for that those that tiny percentage of men um who who make a million dollars or half a million dollars whatever they make a year and it's and it's and those type of men want a certain type of woman that's not them and so the men are frustrated the women frustrated and like everybody's just single <laughs> single um there was even, I mean, I wish this study was on a different dating app than Tinder because Tinder is just like, yeah, you know, it doesn't have a good reputation. But but there was like a, a statistic that came out that was like men swipe right about 50% of the time and then women swipe right like about 5% of the time. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're just so much more pickier um, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to men and like I looked this up the other day, like the average individual in California, um, uh, I forget the average number, but it was uh, like four out of five people make under a hundred thousand dollars in California. Um, and this girl that, that I was talking to, I mean, she wanted like, like her, I mean, and, and, and again, like it's okay to dream. Like I have dreams, but like if we're together right now, we got to like, <laughs> tone it down <laughs> till we get to, like we're not there yet let's like, make I'm the not, budget together that's right yeah like we can't be fine dining every night like uh, otherwise you you won't be able to, to even get where you're trying to go right but, like she was like house by the beach three dogs three kids um uh, i want to be able to go to this spa she wanted to join this whatever club thing it was like six thousand dollars that you had to pay and then you had to pay like three hundred dollars a month on top of like all of these things and just like just just hearing her talk like the price tag in my head was like you know we have to make like two to three hundred thousand dollars a year just to fund your things like mm. and i haven't even been in the picture like right. 
I got hopes and dreams too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. No, she wasn't thinking about you. I mean, how how soon into the com? You told me a little bit about it, but how soon into like the dinner, for example, did she just start spewing about financial stuff that she wants, stuff, all that? I mean, it was it just like I think things just kind of led into led into each other. Like I like I I walked into the restaurant and it was like, oh, this is fancy. It's like, oh well. This is nothing. I like this, this, and this, this, and it was just like more exclusive, more expensive, and um, like somehow we started talking about like getting a massage. And I'm like, oh, there's, yeah, this place I go around to, like, it's crazy. Like they they walk on your back. It's so cool. It's like, oh no, I like to go to a professional spa where they do this, and it's like, mm-hmm. and it's just like everything that I said just wasn't good enough. I got. So it. I was just like, oh. You know, it wasn't like she just laid out financial, you know, whatever. Oh, I got you, I got you. But um, it's, it's just like, even that, it's, they just spend money differently or it's like the, their dreams, it doesn't have a dollar sign attached to it. Again, like Kevin Samuels, I would see him interview women and and he would ask them, like, how much does this lifestyle cost? And they were just like, I, I don't know. They just have the idea, like, the yeah. night in the real... Like this, this is what I want, you know. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it was like I knew immediately. I'm like, well, <laughs> that's crazy. That's 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 uh, yeah, lifestyle. That's dangerous. It's um, you know, an interesting thing that I heard from um, Ramsey, Dave Ramsey. Dave, yeah, the, that of the top ten professions that are most likely to make a millionaire, being a doctor is not one of them, because oh, doctors really? doctors have terrible spending habits in general mm. and so they're in a lot of the, they have expensive tastes and a lot of debt uh and they marry people who have expensive tastes and then they're like well, well i make a lot of money so i'll just cover it but then it's a tough thing so you know that that being said it's it's good to have aspirations for all this kind of stuff and it, it, it seems to be mm. a nice but the reality is of, of it a lot of the people that have those things i think are still very conscious of how much they're spending and mm. how much they're actually like I'll, I'll make sure to go all out on this event so everyone can see it looks good in the public eye because we're we're getting frugal for a little bit because you, yeah. you have to be you can't spend all your money and keep all your money that's just you yeah. know how it works yeah and the people who get ahead it's 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 the the flashy people who have money are actually the minority mm-hmm. and like the millionaires walking around do not look like that. They they live in affordable houses. They drive affordable cars. They wear affordable clothes. Um, and yeah, like you said, it's like you can't keep spending your money and get ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, it's you. Uh, I think Graham Stephan said this. It's like the reason people don't get ahead is because they they make a little more money. And so they're like, oh, I deserve this now. And they make a little bit more and it's like, oh, I deserve this now. And it, and it just keeps racking up. Right. And it's like, you think that you are um, like leveling up, you know, and like you're getting more things, but really those things pretty much have control over you because it's like now you can't live without them. And if like one thing happens, it's just, you're just done. Retail therapy, man. It, it is a thing. Retail therapy? Therapy for shopping too much? No, the the shopping is a therapy. Oh, got you. Yeah, that's the phrase the people use a lot. And it's mm. I've seen it with a lot of people. And it just yeah, buying things makes you feel good, sure. And then getting new stuff and and but then yeah, anything you get is new and then it's not new, and so you need so many bags. I think one other thing I, I read is that um well, it's, it's evidenced by just real life. Men are completely happy with someone who doesn't make as much money and not even close. Like superstars that are men, Ronaldo, the football player, he met his wife right. working at a shoe store, right? Um, but it doesn't work the other way around. If women are very successful, they can't just go out with a plumber, even though right. plumbers actually make pretty good money. Uh, but you know what I mean? Someone that doesn't make nearly as much as they do, they really have that conflict inside. So it's like mm-hmm. their options are that much smaller because of that as well the more successful you are imagine imagine a tall successful woman she can't date anyone that's shorter than her and she can't date anyone that makes less than her that's like five people she can get like, yeah <laughs> yeah there's, there's right? no one out there for you 
Exactly. So it's, right. it's, it's tough, but ladies, yeah. we don't got it like that. So chill out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share this video with somebody with expensive taste. Tell them to calm down. They're doing too much. Because you never know when they might come and take your job and come and take it. Then you don't have no more money. They took our jobs.